welcome back to Sunday School. It's good to be back with all of you today. Well, we want to thank Sophia and Graham for doing the acolyting and communion last week. And thanks to Graham and Nancy for all their heart, and Elise too, for all their hard work while I was away. We want to thank Leo and Rory for being our acolyte this week, and Olive for doing communion. We also want to say congratulations to Olive. Olive was elected the Student of the Month this month. Way to go, Olive. We're so proud of you. Well, we want to, we hope, Merrily, we hope you had a great Earth Day this last week. And we just know that we love you. Today's ordinary person who changed the world is Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci was an Italian artist, inventor, engineer, and scientist. His most famous art was The Last Supper and the painting Mon the Mona Lisa. He had a notebooks where he kept scientific and natural discoveries that he made, as well as designs for mechanical inventions that he created. Inventions such as things like the bicycle, the helicopter, and the flying machine, some 400 years before the Wright brothers would create the airplane. Da Vinci said, The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. He says, Learning never exhausts the mind. Our scripture this morning comes from the book of Proverbs, the 18th chapter, verses 15. And it says this, it says, Intelligent people are always eager and ready to learn. May we, like da Vinci, be people who are indeed open and ready to learn always. Well, with that, let's head on in for the lighting of our candle. Okay, you're going to help us pick it up? Okay, yeah. And then we're going to use it to light the other candle. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. Here's this week's quiz. Jane Goodall studied what in Tanzania? A. Chimpanzees B. Parrots C. Lions Announce your answer. The correct answer is A. Chimpanzees Jane Goodall discovered that ch chimpanzees are a lot like A. Dogs B. Cats C. Humans. Your answer? The correct answer is C. Humans. In October 2011, Jane Goodall visited girls at A. South Albany High School, B. Three Lakes High School at Oak Creek Youth Correctional Facility, or C. West Albany High School. Your answer? The correct answer is B, Three Lakes High School at Oak Creek Youth Correctional Facility. Thanks for taking the quiz. I am Leonardo da Vinci. I was born in Italy in a small town called Vinci. People think da Vinci is my last name, but it's just where I'm from. In Italian, da Vinci means from Vinci. Back in the 1400s, Italy was one of the most exciting places to live. Something called the Renaissance was happening, and people started using art, science, architecture, and even politics to see things in brand new ways. Back then, the richest kids with the proper background went to the best schools. I didn't. By teaching myself, I was more open to new experiences and ideas, 
As a result, I didn't think like everyone else. I didn't even write like everyone else. I was left-handed, which back then was considered weird and odd. It may seem like a secret code, but it wasn't. It was just a way to keep the ink from smudging, a common practice back then. I wasn't the best student. I'd easily get distracted and bored unless I was doing something creative, like art. When I was 14, my father showed some of my drawings to one of the best local artists, Andrea del Verrocchio. You, your son drew that? He did. Pretty good, huh? I am astonished. I became his apprentice, which is a fancy way of saying he became my teacher. He taught me how to mix paints, draw and sculpt for models, and work with machinery on large projects. Most important in Verrocchio's workshop, there were people talking about anatomy, geometry, architecture, and antiquities. Plus, there were books on every subject. My first preserved art was a shield I painted for someone. To make it realistic, I used more than paint. I took real body parts from lizards, snakes, bats, crickets, grasshoppers, and even butterflies and attached them piece by piece. The smell was so bad my father kept the shield and bought a new one for the client. It wasn't my best work, but the shield did sell and was eventually owned by the Duke of Milan. Was I perfect? Not at all. I'd get so distracted and sometimes felt so alone that I didn't finish many of my paintings. And when I did finish, I didn't think the work was very good. No matter what I was working on, I'd carefully examine each subject, studying every detail. I was especially interested in birds. My greatest strengths were curiosity and observation. Everything I saw, I put in notebooks. I wanted to learn about everything. Each day was an opportunity to observe something new. I'd fill notebooks with drawings, ideas, art, and anything else I found interesting, including long lists of things I wanted to do. Over time, in addition to being an artist, I became an architect and an engineer and a musician and a scientist. And of course, I was also an inventor. Every new piece of information led to new breakthroughs. Check out my design. The tank, the submarine, scuba gear, a hang glider, an early try at a helicopter. This tent covered with cloth is an early parachute, even though no one had ever flown before. What are you doing now? Trying to figure out how the face works, which muscles open your eyes, which ones raise your brows, and which ones create the perfect smile. This is my most famous painting, the Mona Lisa. I worked on it for 16 years, carrying it with me until the day I died. For over a decade, I'd repaint it, trying to fill it with every amazing new thing I'd learned about humans and nature. Today, people wonder who she was. She wasn't anyone famous. She was just like the rest of us, ordinary and amazing, full of mysteries and questions, just like the world around us. In my life, people called me a genius, a Renaissance man. They also said I was weird and odd. That's not a bad thing. Nothing amazing happens by thinking like everyone else. Look closely at nature. No two trees are the same. No two humans are either. That means no one will ever see the world as you do. That's not weird or odd. It's beautiful. Do what hasn't been done before. Build what hasn't been built before. When you do, no one will be able to look away. Sometimes crazy ideas are the best ideas, even the ones that fail. My wings didn't help me fly. 
My scuba gear didn't let uh, me breathe underwater. My pre-helicopter never took off. But over time, as technology and innovation caught up with my ideas, every single one of them worked. Stay curious, ask questions, look closely, and always be daring. I am Leonardo da Vinci, and I know that ideas are beautiful. Leonardo da Vinci has been an inspiration to creative and inventive minds for centuries. A science, technology, art, and music festival, Da Vinci Days, was named after the famous Italian and was held for more than 30 years, up until just a few years ago, every July in Corvallis. One big event still remains from Da Vinci Days. It's called the Grand Kinetics Challenge. Teams from all over create Grand Kinetic sculptures like this one. The creations must be able to travel on land, through mud, and finally on water, specifically the Willamette River. This year's Grand Kinetic Challenge is tentatively scheduled for July 17th and 18th. Of course, we're still in a pandemic, so organizers expect to make a final decision by June 1st as to whether to this year's event will go ahead. And if it does, you might want to go over to Corvallis with your family and take a look at it. It's a lot of fun. In the following slideshow, you're going to see images of Leonardo da Vinci, some of his famous paintings and drawings, and past photos of the kinetic sculpture race at da Vinci Days in Corvallis. As Jesus gathered with his disciples, he took the bread, broke it, and blessed it. This is my body, broken for you. He took the cup, poured the juice, and said, This is my blood poured out for many. Do this in remembrance of me. Today's story is about Leonardo da Vinci, a great artist and inventor. He was curious about a lot of things. He loved science and nature, building, music, math, and always art. If you want to learn something new, you have to follow your curiosity, ask questions, look closely, and always be daring. No one will see the world as you do. Do what hasn't been done before. Build what hasn't been built before. This week, take a lesson from Da Vinci 
and teach yourself something new. See you next Sunday.